Now, for more on this, we can go live to our correspondent, Jack Barton. He is joining us in Seoul. Great to have you with us, Jack. Now, one of the most important factors in Moon's economic policy is income-led growth. Uh, however, the sect finance minister said, with the economy, there's a crisis in political decision-making. Uh, is the Commons reason uh, the reason for Friday's reshuffle? Yeah, absolutely. It is no doubt the spat between these two very senior uh, members of the Moon administration that has led to their ousting. Not so much what they have been saying. And in fact, uh, it's not that President Moon disagrees with Jiang. Jiang was the architect of the president's income-led policy, something the president is very much supporting. It was really the, the, uh, the finance minister, Kim dong gyon who was uh, saying that, look, it's just not working. That's something that a lot of people are saying in South Korea at the moment. Uh, the policy, the key core of the policy, income-led, is wage rises. We've seen the minimum wage rise here uh, quite substantially. It was something a lot of people criticized at the time, even though most people here agree that there has to be some sort of restructure within the South Korean economy. Uh, there is a feeling that it has too many of its eggs in the same basket. It's not one basket, but maybe half a dozen, and it does need to be more diversified. There needs to be more focus on consumer spending. Mm. Uh, the problem was it really hasn't worked. Raising the wages, we haven't seen uh, a growth in consumer spending. In fact, it's slow down a little bit. The president also hoped by boosting consumption it would lead to more employment. That hasn't happened either. Uh, so we saw this really evolving into a public argument between these two men. One, the architect of the policy, and the other man, the finance minister, uh, Mr. Kim, who is really in charge of implementing it, didn't like that very much and made it known publicly. So you know, that's what Moon's really done here. It's not what they were saying, it's the fact they took it out into the public domain. And Kim has been replaced with uh, Hong Nam Ki, an expert on budgets, but a technocrat who also served under the previous administration. And Moon perhaps hoping that discretion will also be a key part of his portfolio. So what will happen next? After these new appointees take their posts, can we expect Moon's economic policy to change? Probably not, and that's been a big criticism we've seen today here in South Korea with a lot of people saying, well, why sack the politicians? Why not change the policy? Because it's clearly not working. Um, the reason, the, the general analysis here of why it's not working is because by raising the wages up so much so quickly, uh, what it has done is made a lot of businesses uncompetitive. It's uh, sent a lot of them broke, and that, of course, has led to lost jobs, and that is why we are seeing less consumption. So it's, in fact, having the reverse effect. Now, to be fair to President Moon, again, you know, South Korea, it is a developed country, but it's in the Organization of Economic Cooperation and Development. But when we look at the statistics, as some of the longest working hours, some of the lowest wages, uh, clearly for a developed nation, something has to change. But it is pretty clear at this point that the policy isn't working. Nonetheless, President Moon says he's going to stick by it. That could be dangerous because it is going to impact on his, uh, his ratings, his popularity. This was really the core of his economic program when he tried to come to office. And this all feeds into another big issue, which is the DPRK. He is one of the only people seeking very close relations uh, to really get this inter-Korean relations on fast track. So even though the two issues seem very different, he relies on popularity with the economic agenda to really get through his DPRK agenda. So it is very important. And at the moment, uh, he's not really presenting a lot that the South Korean public, even those who vote for him uh, are really liking to hear. Hmm, a lot at stake now. We'll see how things unfold there and the further implications there. Thank you very much, Jack Barton, bringing us the latest from Seoul.